How you doing YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews back with a new brewery time. A little bit of a hopeful double IPA, hopeful hazy goodness in a form of Short Throw Brewing Company. That'd be their logo. You can see it right there. Um, this is their Lips and Lungs. It's a double IPA coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. Yeah. My camera stuff is a little bit weird. My camera is usually always on this side, but I'm outside and I'm doing it on this side. Eh. You know, get it. Anyway, um, this com comes courtesy of my boy Mike. We did a little socially responsible, social distancing um, handoff, and he dropped this sucker on me. Um, never heard of these guys before. Actually, I've heard of them. Never had anything from these guys before. Wow, big gust of wind. Um, and and uh, it looks like, I don't know if this is the 12% beer project. I've talked about them in the past. It's pretty much a bunch of brewers that go to 12% and they brew their beers and then 12% kind of distros them. These are distro distroed by 12%, but it says brewed and packaged by Short Throw Brewing Company. So I'm not quite sure if they're one of those. Not that it really matters. Um, yeah, we'll see what's what. Let's dive in that sucker. Beautiful day. It snowed and hailed yesterday in Jersey on May 6th, I think it was. Today it is 65 and sunny, a little bit breezy, but I'll survive. Don't be concerned about me. I think I will make it. So yeah, look at that rich vibrant haziness uh label wise it's cool it's kind of you know like a new school kind of um street art kind of graffiti style not old school new school um probably my favorite thing about this label is that actually i'm not gonna say it i know what these are this is a game for you guys to play this is probably one of my favorite things i've seen on a label and it's so dumb um because i've never seen anybody do it before but do, does anybody know what these bars are here i do so I'm not going to tell you what they are. Uh, if you know what these are, answer below. First person to answer will probably get nothing, but maybe I feel frisky and send you something. I don't know, but yeah. Just a little game for you. I never did that before. A little live, uh, live uh, funness going on. So I dig the label. For those bars and bars alone, I actually really like the label. Um, but yeah, I mean, she looks the part of a big old double IPA hazy, big, soupy, thick. It's not turkey gravy, but it wants to be there. I mean, it's kind of getting there a little bit. So yeah, rich orange and color. It's good to nose. I mean, it. From from what I can gather, um, soft citrus, um, a little bit of soft stone fruit, um, and probably going to deal with one of those kind of carbonic acid forward beers here. Not a big nose. Um, that what makes me lead, that leads me to believe one that carbonic acid might be beating that down a little bit, and two, I get a little bit of that on the nose, so it kind of just doubles up my kind of guess. So not a big vibrant nose. I mean. I usually do about, you know, three to four beer reviews when I sit and sit down and do a beer review uh, a couple times a week. And right before this one, I did a five and a half percent hazy pale ale. So you're talking about two and a half percent small than this. Blew this thing away on the nose. Absolutely blew it away. Five and a half percent. So, yeah, is what it is. Let's just dive into the sucker. Cheers. Yeah, I mean... It's not a bad beer. You know, there's really not m much, if anything, negative to it. Uh, Date-wise, let's get you guys a date on this one. This is packaged almost exactly two months ago. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's... It has all the making of being a really nice, well-done double IPA hazy. It just kind of lacks a bit of vibrance, a little bit of personality to it. So you're getting a decent amount of kind of OJ vibes off of it. A little bit of those peach vibes, a little bit of like a green vegetal kind of hoppiness to it. A little bit of the carbonic acid I talked about, but not nearly as big as I thought it was going to be. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, mouth feels fine. Mouth feels exactly where you'd want it to be for a really new school, thick double IPA hazy. And that's that. I mean, you know, it's one of the things that, you know, kind of jumbles around in, in my brain. And I'm sure a lot of people that do this stuff on YouTube and just in general is that, you know, when you have a couple of beers, how the previous beer affects your kind of thought process when it comes to this. So, you know, you're always kind of worried about palate fatigue. You're always kind of worried about, am I kind of blowing my palate out? And then and next beer, I'm going to kind of maybe not do it justice because my palate's not aligned properly. I have no issues with going from the beer they had previously which was extremely hop forward, but not like aggressively so. It wasn't a two by four to the face, but it was very vibrant. 
at a much, much smaller ABV beer. And in that beer review, I, I, um, I literally said there's a lot of beers that, that drink, that are 8% that drink closer to this, if not smaller. And that's kind of where I die on, that hill I die on with my lower ABV hazies. And this is the exact example that I cited. I didn't even have it yet. And I was like, you know what? And I'm like, there's a bunch of beers I say this is what they should be at this ABV level, but they're just not. I mean, from a mouthfeel standpoint, from a hop expressiveness standpoint, um, you know, everything about it, that other beer is bigger, bolder, more aggressive. Well, not being over the top, but at a paltry 5.5%. And, and, and that's where these kind of beers jump the shark for me. It's not necessarily that it's a bad beer. Um, you know, if I had this by itself randomly, if I wanted a hazy, I'm sure it would do me enough um, to be kind of happy with that. But in the end, you know, I want more from an 8% uh, IPA. And that's not me pooping on short throw. Um, you know, I think it's a well done beer. It just lacks a little pizzazz, lacks a little personality, lacks a little hoopspa, if you will. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. So. Citrus vibes, a little bit of stone fruit, a little bit of carbonic acid, nothing negative, but nothing overly exciting about it. Done and done. Uh, so let's talk about it. Is it one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late? No, um, but it's not bad beer. Um, you know, if someone gave me a glass of this at a party or the tap room, I'd be like, okay, that was fine. Let's move on to the next one. Done and done. Value and availability, no idea. 12% beer project. Distroed beer, my guess is anywhere from $15 to $18 a four pack. That's just where they're kind of price point lies for non-super upper echelon breweries and leave you with if you like what we like this beer if you like new school hazies it's kind of a methadone level double ipa hazy for these new school beers um um you know or like i do get a hint of that carbonic thing that kind of really does kind of neutralize a lot of flavor profile for me some people don't even think about it aren't bothered by it can't detect it if you're a foam guy if you're a dancing gnome guy if you're the, those breweries that are known for that kind of thing in our cans, and this will probably be a much nicer beer for you. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massive. Want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed it a little hazy right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.